Today we're going to talk about how the perma-free ebook test is going. Hello, my name is Tanya and welcome to my writing realm. If you haven't been here before, please feel free to take a look around. Not too long ago, I read a book by Dale L. Roberts about the perma-free book, which is basically increasing your sales in a series by setting your very first book as free. Now, of course, this can only happen with eBooks. So I set this up and this is how it's going. Welcome to my KDP dashboard historical report. Now, of course, I am being wide open with my sales. This is my sales for everything since I began in March of 2020. Now everything that is in the goldish brown color are purchased units. Everything that is blue is free. Now if you look back here in July, I had tested out the Kindle Select program and during this time I set the book as free. So I did get a couple of free books downloaded. However, I did not actually make any page reads. This is where you'll find the page reads. Now, of course, I had zero page read. Now, when you look at September, I had uploaded a self-publishing guide, an ebook self-publishing guide, which was intended for beginners. And I also signed it up for Kindle Select. However, I did not get any pages read on the Kindle Unlimited program but I did get approximately 26 units downloaded. Now fast forward a bit, you can see my sales went down in January, I made no sales. Now if we go to February, I uploaded my entire crime thriller collection in one book and I set it up as Kindle Select. So in Kindle Select, I got 47 pages read in February and I also made three sales of this book. Now, back in, I believe it was the end of April or May, I went through every platform that I sell Red Leaves on, and Red Leaves is the first book in the series, and I changed it to free. And then I contacted Amazon KDP, and I asked them to also set it as free on Amazon, and well, it has gone quite well. I have since had 24 people download my ebook for free, which is just on KDP. I also made three sales. So I am getting more readers. Now, if we look at the month to date, I have only had one free unit so far in July. Now, the previous month, I had six downloaded and also one sale of Red River. So to say that it is making a big difference, I'm definitely getting people reading more of Red Leaves. Um, I can't really say for sure that it is increasing my sales of the other series. Now, if we go to draft to digital in the month of May, I only had one free download of Red Leaves and this is draft to digital. So that's going to cover off Apple Books and Barnes and Nobles, and um, this one was actually Tolino. Tolino. So now, if we look at June of 2021, I didn't actually have anybody download the free version, but I did have one sale of my ebook self publishing guide on Barnes and Noble. And hey, guess, guess what? That's pretty much my first sale on Barnes and Noble. So that's pretty cool. So overall, I really don't see a drastic change in anything yet. Um, maybe down the road after people have read Red Leaves, they'll buy the next books. Or maybe people just don't like it because again, Red Leaves is something that I wrote years ago and before I self-published it on its own. It was previously published in Voices. And when I published it on its own, I did improve it, modify it, change the perspective to first person, and I improved it as much as I could before I published it. But again, it is not my absolute best quality writing. So I'm hoping that maybe more of these people that got the free download will consider purchasing one of the copies of the other stories in the series. So for me, overall, the perma-free book has gotten me more readers. Again, more people are downloading my stuff, 
but I'm not getting a whole lot of, you know, increase in sales. Now, when I come back to this sales dashboard and I look at the previous month, now I had vendor markets as well. And I remember one person looking at this Red River book and saying, wow, what a great idea and gave me a thumbs up. Um, so I believe that some of the sales from the previous month and the current month may be people that I met in person at the vendor market. So again, yes, the perma-free ebook is getting me more readers. It is having people download my book more. It is not growing my sales immensely, but it could be the quality of the book itself. So my suggestion would be to people that are considering the perma-free ebook test to make sure that you do it on a series that you are proud of, that you're happy with, that you are confident in. I'm not saying that I don't like my series. I really enjoyed writing it and I got it to the best possible quality that I could. I had an editor go over it, but Red Leaves and even honestly Red Snow did not go through a professional paid edit and maybe that's possibly where I could have gone wrong, but I did have a lot of eyes on it before I published it. So would I do the perma-free ebook again in a future series? Definitely, especially if I have a better quality story out there or, or books series or uh, a series of novels, um, I would definitely give it another shot. Well, thanks for joining me today and have a great rest of your day, afternoon, evening, night or whatever. And don't forget to let and don't forget to let me know below if you actually have tried this perma free ebook test and let me know if it's actually worked for you.